Hello and welcome to 365 Days of Excelling with Fly. This is day 27 and today I've decided to do something special for you. Since it is my birthday, I've decided to show you a formula that I use to sum or count the cells that contain a particular color. For example, here I'm counting the cells that contain a red color, yellow color, and a green color. So it's a count if formula basically where I count if the cell is red and here I have a sum if the color is red as well. So you can see in the formula by here, I've used count color, which is not a standard Excel formula, but it's a formula that I created myself. And here I used some color here, which is again a formula that I created myself. So to show you how I created my formula, I will have to go to developer tab. If you don't have developer tab, you can just right click on your customized ribbon and under here you can go to all commands and locate developer tab command or you can also check here it might also still be here but just unchecked so you just go and check it then you say okay all right under developer tab you go to visual basic editor so under visual basic editor you can see two functions here. The first function is count color and the second function is sum color. So the sum color is the one I'm using to sum color in here and the count color is the one I'm using to count color here. So how did I create them? Okay, so these formulas, they work almost exactly the same I will just show you differences, which is mainly on this line here. Let me explain to you how the count color is working and how you can create it on your end. I will, I will put this code in the link to my video. I will put it in the description so that you can just copy it and use it for yourself. You can just copy it, paste it in your developer tab in any module, then you can start using it. So here is how it's working so that you can understand it. I'm saying I want to create a function. So I declare it instead of declaring it as a sub, most macros are declared as sub because they are subroutines, but this one is not a subroutine, it is a function. So I say function color. Then in, in the brackets, I then put the variables that I want my formula to take. You can put as many variables. So the first, first argument, which is spanning from year to year, is color as range. So I have to put a range as a parameter. So how did I do that? In my cell, I'm saying this is my range. Let me just show side to side my screens here. So here in my formula, I'm saying B2. So that's my first. So I'm selecting B2 as the range that is being referenced or that is being used to evaluate these cells. Then the next parameter that I'm taking is R range, which is the range I want to count basically. So I'm defining again the second range as the range that I want to count. So I have to pass it as a range. So if I go back to my uh, workbook here, you can see that I then defined another range, which is basically this next range here to say, I want to count the cells in this particular range. So from C8, to C22. Now I have defined my arguments. Next thing I have to do here, declare some variables. Okay, so here I'm declaring the cell variable as range. The color counts is just a variant. So I can just declare it without specifying because it's variant, but I could have specified it as an integer as well because I'm 
checking integers. Then here I'm just saying color counts is equals to zero. Why? Because when I start to count the cells, because I'm going to say, okay, locate the range. So here is my range. Then once I locate this range, I'm going to then say, okay, now let's start from the first cell, right? Counting all the cells that match to this color. So when I start, I should start with my number of cells matching as zero. When I, for example, if I'm matching to the green color, I'll start at zero. When I check this cell, I'll see that it is green and my column counts will become one. Then when I check the second row, it will then become two. Then here it will remain on two because it's not green until here it will be still on two. Then when I get here, it will see that it's another green, then it's add one. Then again here, four, five, then six. So this is what this formula does. It then runs through this wall array, checking for the cells that match to the color that I am selecting. Now here, it's then saying, okay, I color, which is the color in the index basically, index of my color, these are properties which can be found in VBA. So our color is just the range, right? The range that I am using, which is the one I declared here, which is my cells here. This is my ara color dot interior dot index. So this is to just get the index of my color. So each color have a unique index. Then here now we go into the range. So now we have checked the index of the color I am using. So for example, on this one, I'm checking the index of the of red. Then using that index, I then say, okay, go and find the cells that have the same index. Let me just clean my screen a bit. Okay, so I find, so I check the index of red, then I say, okay, this is the red index. Then I say now, go in this array and check all the cells that match this index. So I'm using an if here to just say, if the index matches, then step in here and say, whatever the color counts I have at that point. So when I'm starting, I have color counts as zero, then add one, so color counts plus one. Then when I go to the next round, it then go to back to next cell here. Then I run again this routine and here if it finds a red cell again, it will go inside, but then my cell count is one, then it adds another one here, then it becomes two. So let us just step through the macro to see how it's working. Let's just initiate the macro. Okay. Now it says, okay, color counts equal to zero. So it says color count to zero. Then if I just press F8 to step into the macro, it's saying color counts is empty. But look, once I step over this, it then says color counts is zero. So I've assigned a value of zero to my variable here. Then color index is saying three. So red color index is three. So it's saying my color index is three. Then it checks the first cell. Is it red? If it's red, it goes into the color counts plus one. But if it's not red or if it's not three, it goes to end if and then next cell. Look what happens. It skips and goes to end if here. So I've basically skipped from here to there because it's not read the first cell. So it's not going to do this mathematics here to say my color counts zero plus one. It's not going to do that. So at this point, my color count will remain at zero. Let's step through again then goes to next cell. So it's now checking 
this next cell. Then here it's saying if the cell is red, is it red? No, it's not red. It skips again. Then it goes to the next cell. I'm now on cell C10. Okay. C10, is it red? No, it's not red. It skips. Look, my color count is still on zero. Then it goes again. Now it's on C11. Is it red? Yes, it's red. Then it goes in here. Then it does the maths. Now my color count is on one. So counting these cells. Let me just go again. And now we are on cell C12. This is the second one. Then it's now two. Then it keeps on running. So if I just, I want to just stop it here. Okay. At this point, it will then say color counts equals to five. So it's counting all the red cells. One, two, three, four, five. So it has counted five cells. So I have my five red cells here. So it has counted. And if I just run to finish it, you can see there is the five. So if I do the same with the green cells again, you can see that the color count is still empty. And if I push F8, you can see now it's zero. Then if I run the macro and check my color counts here, you can see it's saying six, we have six green cells. So these are the cell green cells. One, these are the green cells. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these are my green cells. So that's how it works. All right. Two. So this is basically the formula. So let me just uh, change the highlighting here. Let me just go back to home and say, I want to uh, make this cell yellow. So what should happen here? This should then become So if I change this to yellow, okay, my yellow should increase to five because it's plus one now. Then my green cell to, should go down to five. So let's see. So I need to format painter. Then I just make this yellow. So you can see this one is counted correctly. And you can also see the sum as well is working exactly the same, except that at this point, yes, I've changed the name of my variables here so that they just make sense here to say instead of color count, I'm now using color sum. But the only difference is here where I'm saying now, yes, I have declared my color sum to zero, but the moment I start, instead of increasing it by one, I increased it by the cell value. So whatever the cell value, I just increase it. So let's just uh, do run that uh, for the green cells or for the, let's run that for the yellow cells actually. All right, so here it's saying that color sum is zero. Then I'll push F8. It just basically jumps this because the color is not yellow. Then when I run to the next cell, now it's in C9, which is yellow, it should go through here. And here it's reads that my value for that cell is 813, which is this one. And it adds that to the color sum. Then it says my color sum is 813. Then when I go to the next, the next cell is yellow again. It then says whatever the color sum at this moment, which is 813 plus the new color sum 4076. So plus 4076 there. Then the new sum is 4889, which is the same as if I add these two. Then if I continue again, I'll just step through a bit. Okay, then now this one is. We are on 13. 
So now it's saying, okay, our current sum is 4889 and our new value in the current cell 701, then we add it to the 4889. Then we have a new total. Then if I run the rest of the code, you can then get this total 4529 as the total of the yellow cells. So that's how it's working. So this is my gift for you guys. So your gift for me is you go and watch my video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button to be notified when I upload new videos. All right. Thank you guys. Enjoy your day 27.